Now, thanks for joining us tonight. The Nigeria Customs Service has discovered that cars smuggled into the country from Libya come with weapons. Senior officials of the service made this revelation in Kaduna while giving operational updates in the last two months. They also disclosed that thousands of smuggled bags of rice have been seized, with the bulk of the seizures happening at the popular Mando garage in the state capital. Tessa Makende reports. It's a meeting between the Federal Operations Unit, Zone B of the Nigeria Customs Service and rice farmers in the zone. Senior customs officers suspect some of them are conniving with smugglers. They say bags of seized foreign parboiled rice are now being rebacked in local sacks. The customs officials are not happy that the republics of Benin and Niger are working hard to frustrate the good work of the government. They disclosed that cars smuggled into the country now come with weapons, especially those from Libya. There is intelligence. The intelligence agencies have confirmed that yes, these vehicles, some of these vehicles are bringing in weapons as, as, as well. That is number one. Number two, there was uh, a report that being a republic is the largest producer and importer of rice in the world. How, why, a country of just 11, 12 million people. If you don't give us cooperation, there is no, so we are not uh, alpha and omega of everything. Every customs administration, not only security of the country, is on everybody's head. The rice farmers and millers are charged to partner with the government to grow the economy. They promise to do their best. The farmers are also calling on Nigerians to endure what they call the initial pain of change. We've accepted the call of the president. And there is an, isn't a sign of bumper harvest. We are, I am assuring Nigerians that if we are patient, all this will be over. The rice farmers and the Nigerian Customs Service both believe that the government is right on the border closure. Tessum Akende, TVC News, Kaduna.